painting your renovation for the first time can be an exciting and yet overwhelming thing. So here are my top tips and tricks for painting as a rookie. My first tip is actually the most important when it comes to painting. You should expect to do as much work prepping as you are going to be painting. That is because your prep work is going to impact the finish of your whole paint job. When you're selecting your paint and then what finish to use. If you are a rookie painter, it is best to go with a low sheen or a flat finish. The glossier you go, the more people will see imperfections. So go for a low sheen, it is very forgiving. Next up is using quality brushes and rollers. It doesn't matter how great your technique is, if you're working with a paintbrush that is cheap and nasty, you're going to get a nasty finish. These rollers are made by two fussy blokes who are two professional painters that got frustrated with the quality of rollers rollers so they designed and made one themselves. These rollers are amazing to work with and I would highly recommend them especially if you're painting for the first time. These game changers will change your life. These mini rollers are designed to hold paint well and to go around all of your window trims and door frames and help with cutting in. Now cutting in is basically where you paint around wherever your roller is not going to reach. When it comes to rolling, one of the most common mistakes is not using enough paint. As soon as you get to a point where you are pressing hard on the roller, that is a bad thing. Make sure that you've got a whole lot of paint on your roller, not too much that it drips, and then it should feel like you are lightly grazing the wall or the ceiling with your roller. That will give you an even coverage. So if you wonder, do I have enough paint? You don't. Put it back in the tray and get yourself some more. And finally, this is one of my favorite tips. When it comes to cleaning up, all you need to do is wrap your paintbrush and roller in some plastic and then put it in the fridge. It means that it's not going to dry and then when you come back the next day, you can just start straight away. It saves you time and also saves you having to clean up every night. And if you're like me, if I don't have to clean, I'm not gonna do it. Painting is a great way to transform a space and give you an amazing sense of achievement. So, happy painting.